He's not in a very safe position to contest these last hits anymore. Top lane, Cuckoo, gonna get jumped on, and looks like he'll just TP out of it, and he'll oh, not be crit. okay. That is very <laughs> unfortunate for Cuckoo, and they tip him immediately. I mean, that was just... Oh. I thought I thought he was getting out of there for sure, to be honest with you, but... Unfortunately, and that's six. Raging Potato makes his way through the mid lane. Does have a double damage rune now. Won't be able to catch Armel out. Armel did have information there from AU who scouted out the Earth Earthshaker. Okay for the moment. Of course, we do see Raging Potato rotate down to the bot lane. Make sure he protects that Lycan and steals a bit of farm off AU on that Vengeful Spirit. Gabby actually finding Arjit by himself. Waveform Adaptive Strike was all that was necessary and Gabby managed to find that one. It's going to make matters a lot worse for Mineski, right? Because Gabby's already farming pretty darn well as it is. Wait. Yeah, they're, they're going to lose this tier 1 bot at 6 minutes and 20 seconds in. And that's a really early time to lose a tower to a Morphling fall heroes not the one you really expect to get a good push going but gabby has had a very good time down here 45 to 21 leading network leading the creep score by quite a fair bit at very least and it's all doing some chip damage in that tier too mike yeah are you scouting out raging potato will get caught with the magic missile the waveform coming in gabby will claim this off a very nice kill onto that earth shaker now I'm surprised Cuckoo's getting away with so much in this top lane. He only died once, and the rest of the time he hasn't really been pressured, which is strange considering that he's in a solo lane and he's an Ursa. He has no natural escape capabilities. Raging Potato getting caught out mid lane. A very easy kill. Armel will secure the kill for himself. Yeah, definitely slower than game one. Um, seeing both teams really just trying to find what they want from these lanes instead of uh, bashing your heads at each other. Which is fair. I mean, game one is usually a bit more active than game two. At least for teams that, you know, that tend to have played each other for quite a fair bit. And again, these two teams have. So right now it's just you know, a calming down and just doing what they believe is best in these in the series. Oh, hey, you. In a lot of trouble. Moon should be able to find him, and he does. Roll away as well for Tim. He just gets the hell out of it immediately, and that T1 tower mid would be pushing tank right now. But Mineski seems happy enough to ignore Gabby, which is strange in my view, because we've seen what he can do with here once he has some farm next PM. Hey, I'm gonna roll in Tim. He rolls into three of them with the magnetrons. It's very nice, and now the echo. But the sanities was there from Armel. It's a lot of damage, and here comes Gabby. He wants to rip them all apart. Although Nice Fisher comes in, Arjit could not right click Tim's. The Astral is just too darn quick. Armel will claim another victim for himself. Meanwhile, Cuckoo and Gabby get started on the T1 tower and finish the job as well. I thought they were crazy for letting the Earth Spirit roll in like that. But Tim's, he, he, he just keeps rolling, John. He's trying to find more. Raging Potato will get scouted out. Lock and Armel. They didn't actually keep locking him. They didn't move forward. They didn't want to make it obvious. And now Armel gonna get caught out. Can they burst him down? Absolutely they can. KP hitting so hard with those crits. Now they will get started in that T1 bot tower, which again, with the Lycan, although he had a terrible start, can take towers very quickly regardless. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. So it's, it's really not too bad for the side of Mineski right now. Less than 1k net would be for TNC. Map control is definitely on the side of TNC, but not by much. It's basically by just one tier 1 tower left in the map for them. Looks like TNC is going to attempt that Roche now, and again with Cuckoo's Ursa, that is very easy to do, but we do scout it out. Yeah, well Raging Potato, he is going to get slowed up, and Echo Slam was committed. Raging Potato will end up losing his life. They can lose that Roshan anyway, although they may go for a steal. Mineski hesitating, and they will not run in. First, although again, I have to say I'm very surprised by Mineski's decision to let Gabby have so much space. I mean, he's just pushing lanes by himself. No one's even in the most 
gets caught out again, John. Mid lane. They did find him. Cuckoo claimed that kill for himself on the Ursa. Yeah. Again, when you when you're running a Lycan draft and oh. Oh, lane, John, they found Gabby. That's a big pickup, but it's only in ages. They get the T2 tower, and now Armel blinks in immediately. The Astral was there, the follow-up stun, although do that, don't tell me they don't have detection. Aw oh, man. No. Oh nuts. Oh Moon. Oh Moon. Way. He didn't realize they didn't have it. Moon. Again, no detection. He's just gonna sit there. <laughs> now here comes AU. Drop the sentry ward. And they will find the kill eventually. Oh, oh god. Cuckoo's in a lot of trouble with that mid lane. Moon rage up. Can they burst him down, however? Still trying to make a run. Absolutely nowhere, nowhere near getting helped, and he does end up going down. Yeah, and it's just not there from Netsky, especially asking that from 4v5. Okay, he, oh, really we get fine. silenced. They knew they were there, although False Promise will be there in time. He will get the split off. This could be the team fight they needed. AU surely goes down. No, he gets a swap, swaps again, but they do <laughs> find him. Gabby will morph, throws the Fisher out. Meanwhile, Armel just hiding for the moment. Gabby gonna start man fighting Moon, and Moon wants to get the hell out of there. Raging Potato as well, just stopping them for the moment. And now Arjit, he comes in to try and fight. It looks like they will find Cuckoo at the very least. This could be bad for Mineski if they stick around. In fact, they have stuck around too long. They get rolled on. Ninja Boogie is out of the team fight, and now Arjit goes into that wolf form, trying to find somebody, but it looks like he's just gonna go for a run. Gabby, who the hell is he going for? Apparently nobody quite yet. Cuckoo, he was going after Arjit, but Cuckoo is in trouble. And Cuckoo will end up falling, so one for one trade for the moment. AU will be the next target, and he's gone as well. Arjit's on a double, although KB now is in trouble. His split has wore off, and with that, Armel will get started and will be able to take him out. Moon finds himself a regen, which is quite nice, but Cuckoo is going to continue the chase. It does slow him down. Moon does manage to move Gabby. Getting disarmed, he'll be okay now. Moon has to be careful though. Nice Fisher and the Echo comes in. It's a lot of damage on Cuckoo. And they get the Aegis off of Gabby. Can they do it again, however? Waveform will be there. Moon wants to continue the chase, although the trap has been destroyed. Gabby is so darn tanky right now with all that strength he's morphing into. Though Fisher again comes in from Raging and they hold him in place. Though AU will swap and get him out of there. The TP is there from Gabby and he'll be okay. And it looks like they'll get everyone else out, but Vanessa either, because all that advantage they've gained could just be lost immediately. TNC though, probably not interested in fighting this. Who? Oh, the Hex was there onto the Earth Spirit AU again, trying to save the day, but a double kill out to Moon now. Swap worked against them. They will get everyone else out, but two supports of TNC are lost in the process. TNC is definitely bleeding out a bit, but all these kills are giving away. All the ground we're losing here, just trying to find farm right now on OD, I suppose, and maybe some more farm on Gabby. It it feels really worrying for TNC after such a good start, and it, it's really good for Mineski. Like, this is definitely a breath of fresh air for them. A second wind, if you want, that they can find these kills. Good, good. Raging Potato, the KP jumps in, but it's too late. Raging Potato is gone, and now Arjit will commit the wolf form. Cuckoo copying a lot of damage, though. Arjit oh, just disappears. Gabby rips him apart. My goodness. Now they're going to chase for more. The split has been committed. They will get rid of the fire remnant. KP still making a run, still has plenty of time, although there's only one spirit left. And no, oh, a nice echo comes in from Raging Potato, but it won't really do that much. There was no follow-up, although now here it is. Moon jumps in with that BKB. He's doing a lot of damage, and KB cleaning up a lot of kills here. Gabby now in massive trouble, though. Sanities, it doesn't do enough. Gabby's still surviving thanks to that Astro, and he finds a kill onto KP, apparently. Now he'll go back into the team fight, finds Raging Potato. Can they find more? Armel is still making a run for it. Gabby is on a triple kill, John. How the hell is this happening? Armel will now turn the hell the moon. What the bloody hell did we just watch? Moon what? goes down, Gabby <laughs> finds an ultra kill, and apparently... 
KB did commit the BKB. Now, top lane, Earth Spirit does not get caught out quite yet. The Astral was there in time from Armel once again. Tims gets swapped out from AU. A lot of teamwork, although AU has been lost. Meanwhile, the split does go out and everyone else is out of the team fight. The buyback was there immediately from AU on the Vengeful Spirit. They do move into the Roshan pit. Now, this is a quick Roshan. TNC do not have time to think about this. Armel, he'll jump in straight away. KP Spirits are copying a hell of a lot of damage, but that doesn't matter too much. Meanwhile, Ursa is copying damage himself. Gabby trying to go after the Roshan. KP snaps it, however. He managed to take it just in time, and he will end up dying for his trouble, it seems. However, the team fight will continue. Fisher will go down to block the way, and AU dies back on that vengeful spirit. KP manning up, saving the day, and Cuckoo's life is also lost in the process. And John, that was the kind of thing Mineski throughout that, by the way. He still holds on. DNC, they're gonna find a big pickup if they can get it, and Moon, he gets melted. They weren't expecting that at Hold on to that note, John, because Raging Potato will throw out a double fissure now. Here comes KP again, BKPing up immediately, and Tims is out of the team fight. Ninja Boogie, however, he's also lost. He'll throw the split out. They're trying to go after this Morphling. In fact, no, hold on a minute. It's the Morphling going after the Brewmaster. They're gonna chase for more. They find nobody, although Arjit is being chased by the Creep Wave. He will make it out in time. Buku was there, but he had no way to bash him anyway. The question is, how are they gonna get there? They do have a smoke on AU, and they were just de-warding to make sure. Although, oh, Moon. He can't afford to die. Without a buyback available, that's going to be massive. Although oh he does God. have one. He does have the gold available now. Can they burst him? However, nice swap from AU. In fact, he's looking for another one to swap as we speak. Who jumps in, although Fisher was there immediately, though. He wants to rip apart Raging Potato. False Promise was committed on that Earthshaker. Now KP, he moves forward, still has the Primal Split available. Meanwhile, Cuckoo just trying to hide and stay safe. They won't find him quite yet, and it looks like he's just going to hold on for the moment with that Blink Dagger. In fact, he jumps straight back into Ninja Boogie, although he will get killed off immediately. Now Armel, he's in a bit of a hard, a hard place right now, but no, he's not. The Sanities gets dropped. He takes two down, and now Gabby going for more, although he needs to back the hell out of there. Just go for the racks if he can. Moon is trying to dish out some damage, but he can't dish it out enough quite yet. AU again with the swap, keeping him alive, and RML will find the kill onto Raging Potato. Though buybacks are coming out left, right, and center, John. It's a hell of a team fight. RML still running. Gabby's still trying to take the racks, but he's going to get taken down at this point. They stun him up. He'll four star out. No, he'll wait for back in. He doesn't know what he's doing. In fact, he does get the racks out just in time. He's got so much HP right now. Meanwhile, Moon trying to man fight RML, but he gets it's taken out, that's a dieback on the TA. This could be all over. KP is still fighting for his team. He'll get Gabby actually, <laughs> so it's not over quite yet. Tim's is the only man left, and he goes down. It's a full team wipe, finally from the side of Mineski. <laughs> but they've lost all their Rexes, John. It's gonna be very slightly ahead of the like and Cuckoo. Get caught out, he blinks, but KP blinks right behind him. Bishop was not there in time, but they forced out the BKB, and now here comes Arjit. He runs darn fast as a wolf. Cuckoo, can he juke them out? Running through the tree line, and he is trapped, although he'll in range try to man fight. He's wasting a lot of time here. He's still got no backup, however, and he will not survive. His team, though, they do come in eventually. Ah, uh, shit. We'll be able to get out of there with the BKB. Now Armel can't afford to die, they're raging. He throws the Echo in. Now Gabby get a man fight against two heroes. Primal Split was there, but he goes after Raging Potato and he does find him. Now KP, he can't really afford to die right now, but it looks like he just may. He will stun up the Vengeful Spirit, but AU is going to continue that chase and has the swap available, but he can't use it quite yet on that Earth Spirit. He's just got to right, time it right, and KP is way too quick for engagement. Gotta ensure he gets a big echo off and keep throwing out those fishes. Neski, they will jump in straight onto Cuckoo and he dies. Now Echo as well, it's a lot of damage coming out onto Armel, but the swap again from AU to save the day. They've lost the Aegis however, Gabby, he got melted, and now Moon, they're gonna keep going. Oh, no. In fact, they've stunned him up, this could be really bad. Arjit has found AU and there's the waveform TP play. Gabby, oh my goodness, has to be so careful. 
you. Moving oh, forward, he gets the swap, and there's the Hex as yeah. well. Moon, he is getting melted, although look at those high ground misses and the false promise once again coming in for Moon. He'll make a run for it, and he'll survive throughout all of that. But, ah, oh, shit, he finds AU. Who else are they going to find? Cuckoo, he will get Moon at the very least at the end. It looks like, can he tick down on the false promise? They yeah, have. That is true. Can't see. Are uh, gonna walk their way in, and again, it'd be very nice to force this buyback. Oh, KB. Oh, Echo Slam comes in. Gabby, he'll be okay. Oh, He's not no. gone. He gets critted by KB. Has the buyback available, however. So TNC will be all right. Mel has been slowed down. Mm. In massive trouble here. He's being surrounded. The Fisher block as well. He can't get that arcade room. Raging. Will refresh and drop the hammer, although he's still in trouble. AU again will save the day, but he may give his own life away for this. In fact, well, Raging, that's the wrong way, sir. The false promise will be there to save the day for the moment. Cuckoo trying to make a run for it. TNC got to be so careful to throw this game right now. Back Tims may lose his life to Arjun, and he does, and they've lost Cuckoo as well on the Ursa. Go for this. I mean, there's two heroes down with no buybacks, and this is the best chance they've got so far. And it happens very quickly as well, thanks to that Lycan. Although Swamp KB, oh, he's found himself in trouble. Raging misses the Echo as well. He was just a bit short, and the Swamp again from AU, just to ensure he goes down. Guy attacks every 0.25 seconds. AU, the KB is there. Sanities will do not really much. KB running in with that BKB. Meanwhile, on the left side, they have found Rage and Potato, but he's still fine. Moon is the main target, but he gets to walk away with another to fight another day. Gabby being blown up in a cyclone. Meanwhile, Rage is still running around, kiting them. Where the hell is the team fight even going on at this point? Moon, he's going after Cuckoo, but Cuckoo just turns around. Would somebody hit the damn Ancient? Echo Slam comes out onto Gabby, although Raging's life has been lost. Now KB, hammer been dropped. Ah, Mel finds him. The buyback's coming in, but this looks like it's it. There's only three heroes left on the side of Mineski. TNC gonna keep going. The Fisher will come out onto Moon. Gabby's had enough, and he's just hitting the Ancient, and it is all over. 57 minutes in, John. TNC will claim game number two and will take this series two to zero. But what a hell of a game we just watched. Yeah, definitely, Mike. I mean, the stats speak for themselves. 30 to 34, only a 3k lead for TNC, despite how that game went. Despite them getting mega